it's clear that I've been watching too many horror films because this just freaks me out. And the sounds of it? Have you seen Control? What a K? Have you seen Creep? Yeah, because this is creepy. Guess what? Guess what? I'm going on a boat trip around Manhattan. And guess what else? I am taking you with me. Yes, you. We are going on a boat trip and you're filming stuff? Who does this? Really? A friend of mine once said that he hates lines because they're made of people. I see his point. I was a little bit worried about uh, being sick, getting sick because of my motion sickness because I've never traveled uh, on water for more than 20 minutes or so and this is a 3 hours ride but I'm good, this is actually very enjoyable so my motion sickness, which only happens in a car, makes even less sense now Okay, let's do a little voiceover narration, shall we? Not too much. I don't want to take away from you taking in Manhattan, <laughs> as I did. But we are going right under the George Washington Bridge right now. Here you can probably recognize some of the Trump buildings. Who are not really Trumps, but that's unimportant. Look how pretty that light is. You're actually gonna see a lot of um, sunshine action in this clip. I guess that's my thing or something. And I am already such a great narrator, aren't I? This is the One World Trade Center under construction. They don't call it the Freedom Tower anymore. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty is a Greek goddess? I just find it interesting considering that it's one of the most iconic symbols of a, well, self-proclaimed Christian nation. And we are going under the Brooklyn Bridge. That's Manhattan Bridge. This side, Williamsburg Bridge. Just as a random fact, the Empire State Building, which you can see right now, has 6,500 windows. Not a fun job for the one who has to clean them. We just went under Queensboro Bridge, pretty in the sunlight. That is the Mill Rock Island and I really want to go there if I ever come to New York again. I hope I will. That's Wards Island Bridge. And I'm not sure what bridge this is, if you can recognize it, please leave a comment below. I really love the view of Manhattan, overall, from this boat. It looks so green, but at the same time so industrialized, which I really like, and I know that the vegetation is man-made, but I still very much like it. And we are going under the high bridge, and we can see the high bridge water tower, I think they call it. And right now you are actually looking at a space shuttle. Well, this was most enjoyable. I know a lot of you, especially if you're from New York, will think this is a kind of cheesy and very 
touristy but it was lovely the sun was shining and it was so nice and the river waves were crashing into the boat and there was a nice breeze and all the scenery and I very much enjoyed myself yum yum I'll have the roasted garlic cheese uh, lettuce pickles hot uh, mustard and hot ketchup you have Huh? You have hot ketchup? Hot ketchup? No, no. Okay, regular ketchup and yeah, hot mustard. Yeah, yeah. Nom 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 nom. Five dollars. Guess what? I'm going to a film festival and guess what else? I cannot take you with me. Because they're Nazis about cameras and stuff. Sorry. Okay, so we just uh, came out of the movie and... Oh my god, it's... Uh, what's the name in English? Over the Hills? Yeah. Over the Hills by Christian Mungiu, uh, the guy who did four months, three weeks and two days, the Romanian guy. It's amazing. I don't know, like, I don't know how much you will connect with it, but as a Romanian, I, like, no, no fucking line was lost. No scene was lost. Every single scene and every single line is so relevant to our culture and our state of mind and oh my god I, I i was disturbed by it and you know whenever even with the uh, four months three weeks and today some people were like you know this can't happen and even now i heard some people talking about you know that was not believable yes it can happen and it happens like almost every single conversation in that movie i heard it in real life it's it's you you should see it that's it so one of you guys asked who's Larry and I have to tell you that you're a very very bad stalker because you should have known that I'm here in New York editing his film. So he's a filmmaker, he's making the documentary about YouTube atheists and sometimes I make him carry my purse. Slow motion fountain time! Why, you're welcome!